good morning good morning how are you yeah i'm doing great thank you for asking what about you yeah i'm also doing great uh, so as we are meeting first time so would you please uh, introduce yourself yeah yeah of course my name is selvi i am from chennai it belong in tamil nadu i am a housewife and i have two children both are grown up now they are working and uh, if i tell about my graduation i have completed my diploma computer course and uh, I, i i have been learning this language since 8 months that's yeah. lovely okay so how you learn this language uh, with yourself or you practice with someone no 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 when i started to learn this language uh, only uh, that time uh, i didn't know anything about that so i used to follow some youtube channel and uh, through the way i connect some many youtubers i uh, had a conversation with them so they, this is the way i have some i get some friends now i am doing this uh, my practice with them okay means uh, i think you are in let's uh, let let meet the group Sorry, you are in any group? Yeah, I have some WhatsApp group. Uh, do you know Rajini Verma, ma'am? Try to try. Yes. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I had a conversation with her, and uh, she has created uh, one WhatsApp group, and I I have been in that group. So yeah, we are. Uh, see, I have been knowing about you. I think since eight months also when I started, because that time also you have. you had a conversation with many i youtubers and with uh, include rajini verma also i have seen your video yes yes yeah but now you have see uh, now you have lot of improvement yes yes uh, because as i am also uh, learning this language uh, near about 10 months uh, yes uh, so gradually i am improving yes yeah yeah but how do you improve your uh, skill enhance your language because i used to try many things but uh, sometimes it's not it doesn't work out for me okay uh, so first of all i would like to say that uh, to learn and to speak uh, this language or any language it takes lots of time and effort uh because uh, this is a language we can't get fluency in two months three months or six months it will take time but uh, if we are very consistent with this journey so definitely one day we will achieve our goal sooner or later we will definitely achieve our goal nobody can stop us mm. and another thing i practice on daily basis without fail earlier i was giving myself like 2 hours or 3 hours in a day to practice with co learners <coughs> sorry to practice with co learners along with that i also teach my daughter so i read her books uh, i do not get time to read other books uh, but yes sometimes i read newspaper and i listen english video english related videos and uh, sometimes not uh, on daily basis sometimes i watch uh, uh, like uh, english shows or english movies with subtitles uh, so these are the things i do on daily basis so uh, and i can say that if you do the same thing so you will also get fluency as well as confidence to to speak yes there is no other key to get fluency we have to work hard to get fluency to get confidence yeah, yeah. correct uh, and one more thing uh, earlier i have uh, still i have that problem uh, sometimes i am not able to word uh, uh, to use new words yes but uh, we are not very habitual to speak this language so whatever words we have we just communicate uh, manage to uh, communicate with that words only but simultaneously i was started to in, uh, include at least one word one new words in my conversation so that i can also 
enhance my vocabulary yeah 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 we are also i have inculcated this kind of vocabulary in my class, uh, speaking okay but uh, what i uh, i feel that one or two days it's a remember me after that i forget everything so uh, it's long it doesn't uh, get long time yes okay do you have any then, question uh, to ask me you can ask yeah yeah then uh, okay see uh, if any beginner how they will learn see I, already you said uh, what we can do in our practice okay in our regular basis but if any uh, beginner if they don't have any partner club partner or anything uh, 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 any facility any facility to learn this language how they can learn uh, if anyone is beginner means yeah. once he starts from the scratch level so first of all he will have to learn many things if you have suppose knowledge if i just i assume if you are 12th pass or graduate so you have uh, some amount of vocabulary and you have the knowledge of tenses too so if you have these two things so you can start uh, to communicate with people start to frame simple simple sentences first not go jump on the you know advanced uh, vocabulary no need to if you are a, a beginner so no need to use advanced vocabulary and if you listen to something so try to listen uh, stories kids stories is helpful for you and if you read books so read story books because uh, they will get simple sentences as well as simple words so that you will get interest to read that story mm -hmm. simultaneously you go uh, you can try a little bit harder things otherwise just uh, start with story books as i start uh, to read my daughter's book so you can say that uh, like you know story books and children books uh, we can say that yes this is okay for us because there we get simple sentences simple words and uh, day by day as my daughter uh, goes like first to second standard third standard so along with that i also tried one more uh, one harder word mm -hmm. so in the same way uh, one who is beginner can try the same thing so definitely that person can be able to speak this language without any hes hesitation with confidence that person can speak yes correct yes but if i tell myself even we, we have some uh, uh, knowledge okay so but earlier i had lot of hesitation till now i have some uh, video clearness okay so uh, so that is why you see uh, uh, earlier i had video conversation uh, i think more than 9 10 after that i stopped this six months i didn't do any video conversation mm -hmm. so because of uh, overcome see i have some video, video here so that's why i want to overcome the, on that so again i do started see today only i started again video conversation with you uh, so may i ask you why you stopped uh, in the last six months what is the reason yeah i have some as i said no i have some whatsapp group so i am very comfortable on the with them so i don't need any uh, kind of uh, again video conversation with anyone but now i feel that okay i have skype group also if i connect to anyone i have some video clear so uh, okay that's that's why i want to think okay no 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 again we will start uh, this kind of conversation so yes. that time only can face uh, and uh, this kind of see definitely it would it would help for us some uh, live conversation okay if you do this practice we can uh, uh, able to uh, we uh, we have able to do some live conversation easily so yes. that things i noticed that yeah then again i started my journey. what when whenever we will not come out of the box so it will be very difficult for us to face people because uh, one thing we just uh, 
put ourselves in comfort zone. We do not want to uh, overcome from there. We just want a uh, comfort zone. Because of that reason, we stuck at one place. Yes. But yes. now, I, while I was I think normal call, now I feel very comfortable. I can yes. speak any, with any position and I can speak within uh, at least, I think, one hour also. But mm -hmm. I, yeah, if I have some video conversation, I see some uh, problem. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So when you connect uh, with uh, uh, in your groups, so at that time, what uh, topics you dis do you talk uh, discuss uh, topics or what you uh, do at that time? It depends on the learner. Okay. Some learner they want to uh, discuss about some topic, and some learner they do some uh, scenario like a uh, uh, like scenario some uh, uh, scenario. And uh, some learners, we discuss about, uh, if you give any three words, uh, we can create some story. So these kind of uh, yeah, practice we do. And uh, otherwise, uh, some people, they are very comfortable in general conversation. Yeah, it depends on the learner. Yes. Only WhatsApp group and you converse on that group? Yeah, only any... WhatsApp. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So how many persons... Uh, uh, you were connecting. You were connecting in a day. Yeah, every day I used to connect four or five learners, four learners, for half an hour every with our leader. Yeah, every part it would be half an hour. Maybe it would be forty minutes, forty-five minutes. Yeah, it's a good. Some step. people nowadays we are very close to them, so we used to call more time. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, this is good way. Yes, because the uh, uh, speaking practice is very important. Suppose if you have no time for reading, writing, or listening, at least you speak with a different person for a longer period. So this is also a good uh, practice to speak this yeah. language. Yeah. So uh, if I don't do that, you no learn new words. Sorry, please. How you learn new words? Yeah, from uh, YouTube only. See, in your uh, conversation with uh, Nandapo Palan sir, he has given many words, many vocabulary. It's very yeah. useful for me. I wrote down, I write down in my notebook. And after that, every uh, when I have some time, I used to at least I uh, uh, I can I can see that vocabulary. Okay, first I want to remember my mind. Okay. So that seems I want no way. Most of the time I used to watch that vocabulary and what is the meaning on that. Then I read that. Okay. Yes. And after when I have connect some people, I used to use that word one or two times. Yeah. Nowadays I do this kind of practice. And yes. definitely it will help for me. Definitely many. I think a gray area. Sir, Nandakopalan sir said one of the many gray area. See, the vocabulary is my gray area, okay? So, many times nowadays I start to use that. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, so, today I just want to share one word with you that I learned. That is ambiguous. Ambiguous. Do you know what is the meaning of ambiguous? Earlier I have heard about this word, but now I forget that. Ambiguous. Ambiguous. Okay. What is Clear, uncertain, unclear. Uncertain. Suppose the things is uncertain or unclear, so we use this word. Uh, suppose okay. uh, the example is uh, the instructions of the exam paper was ambiguous because of that children are not able to write the paper. Okay, okay, yeah. Yes. Another sentence, uh, if you want to try, you can try. Uh, uh, road instructions was ambiguous because of that, that accident happened. Okay. Yeah. What? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we had, uh, uh, we uh, in our class, we had some ambiguous because of uh, today is the yoga day, so we celebrated that we celebrated the day, so we didn't do our practice, uh, more practice. That is correct? Um, I think a little bit wrong. Will you please repeat your sentence again? See, today 
uh, we had some ambiguous because of that today we celebrated our mbk what mbk you can say like this today is yoga day but uh, yeah. we were ambiguous about that so we, so, we, yeah. we enjoyed our time some some uh, uh, some treat okay we enjoyed our time uh, some treat so we today we didn't more do our exercise that is correct yes yes, yes. you can say like this uh, today was today is yoga it day we are ambiguous for that and uh, so uh, we uh, we are we, we do not went outside for doing yoga with our friends sir yeah. you can yeah, say yeah. like Yeah. Mm. Yes. Okay. Uh, now you got the meaning of ambiguous. Yeah, yeah. I got it. If that is not certain, or okay. uh, uh, distract some other something wants, and we can use that something we distract, disturbed. Correct. Yes. Yes. Which is not certain. The text message was ambiguous because of yeah, that. Yeah. I did not get the meaning. मीन्स मैसेज लिखा था वो क्लियर नहीं था इसलिए मैं समझ नहीं पाई कि क्या लिखा है अनदर वर्ड आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टीच वन मोर वर्ड टेंटेटिव अरे टेंटेटिव टीई एन टी ए टी आई वी टेंटेटिव टीई एन टी ए T I V E tentative, tentative, T E N T E N tentative. Yes, tentative. Yeah. Tentative is yeah. an uncertain plan. Suppose if you are planning some, uh, uh, suppose uh, uh, today you want to go for movie, but your plan is not certain. So you can say that uh, uh, new that plan is not tentative. we are going to see watch the movie or not uh, it is not certain okay means okay. suppose if your plan is not for, means uh, certain or fixed plan if you have okay. not fixed plan means you have some doubt so at that time you can use this word mm. okay what okay. tentative plan yeah. if you be if you have any if you don't have any fixed plan Correct. Yes, fixed plan. Okay. You have not fixed plan, so at plan, so you can use this for tentative plan. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I we learn two words, ambiguous, and the second word is tentative. Tentative. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I will share and with my friends when while I have a conversation with them. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And the other thing is okay. Nowadays you have a uh, yeah, hectic in your journey. Then how do you manage your time? Uh, manage time. It's uh, this time is good, but last uh, in April month. I'm sorry. In May month, it was very difficult for me because my daughter had holiday, so I had to spend time with her. so to manage uh, to attend classes and after that practice and to communicate with person it was difficult in uh, may month but this time i can manage when my daughter goes for uh, goes to school and my daughter my husband is for office i have time like 9 to 12 in that i do practice or not But nowadays I think that last I think since uh, two months I have been stable in my level. I don't have any improvement in our learning. So, so you see any I think uh, what is uh, the repeat your uh, last sentence? I am not able to hear properly. Last sentence only. What you told? See, this see since two months I have been stable in my level, uh, mm-hmm. same level. Okay, so. Same, same level. Yeah, same level. I I don't know any improvement in our learning, uh, but I don't know the reason whether I think last two months, not two months, one month I didn't do my practice regularly. 
so maybe suggestion in the uh, and how to i think uh, this is the only doubt how to yeah, enhance yeah. our next level how to go our next level because yeah. i think uh, these two months i have been stable in my level so yeah, yeah. if i go to next level what do you do yes i got your point because uh, i also faced the same issue so i can answer i can answer your question first of all we only talk with our co learners it is okay when we because at least we get partner to speak with them okay this is okay but as you tra- uh, speaking as you are speaking this language since 8 months okay so you uh, now you got confidence to speak try to speak with person who are upper than your level this is the best way because if you talk to uh, the person who is your level or who is uh, one level ne- uh, down than you so you will not get improvement but if you try uh, to person who is more knowledgeable than you so you will just uh, when that person is speak so you will also listen what uh, what type of sentence structure he is doing prc is doing so this is the way and another way if you communicate with any co learners so if you find mistake so at a uh, you can also correct suppose uh, if you find mistake uh, whatever i am uh, speaking wrong so immediately you can correct me so this is also a good way of learning to correct other person and one other thing uh, listen more try to listen native speakers so that you can uh, level up your english and every day right. as i told you uh, today two words yeah so you can also learn the same at least one words in a day so in a one whole month you will have 30 words with meaning so when you speak learner try to use these words just one uh, one thing you can do uh, write down one or two words at the time of speaking just create a situation so that you can forcefully use that word suppose sometimes uh, you can make wrong sentence it is okay but uh, when you start to speak these uh, start with uh, when you speak with these sent words so one or two times later you will find that yes now i am very used to of using these words this is one way yeah this is my experience as well as a uh, lots of advices uh, given by tutors too so i give you all advice of from my side and from my tutor side too so these things are really very work uh, work uh, if you uh, do and focus all these things uh, starting level you will find difficulty but uh, don't give up sometimes you get frustration too because earlier i had frustrations because tutors uh, gave me lots of uh, advice to do but uh, like of because of the lack of time i was not able to do as we are housewives so lots of works are there for us and we have all responsibility of home too Uh, so yes it is okay but uh, don't forgive at any rate yeah. and don't compare one thing don't compare yourself with others what yeah. we say when we means uh, where we do uh, lose our confidence to watch other videos yeah i had this experience because yeah. while i had some advanced learners no so that time automatically my confidence level has been down okay so yes. after that for not days i didn't do my any practice because uh, sometimes i was uh, feeling low in my confidence level 
Yeah. So that time I have some cat speaker, some speaker. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this problem I have faced many times, and again, okay, no, no, we never give up this opportunity. We have to come back. Okay. So this is the way I, yeah, every day we have one have different background, different situations. So uh, we can't compare ourselves to others. And we uh, some uh, I saw that many people. waste their time to saw other videos only and compare uh, this uh, themselves in that art you can practice yeah if you watching videos if you are watching videos for your knowledge to learn something then it is okay but if you watch uh, watch other videos to just just that where i am so definitely you are going to lose your confidence too that's correct yes because yeah, yeah. that is correct this time uh, lots of people are learning this language so we always compare ourselves with others oh my god suppose sometimes what happens there are lots of youtubers and mostly what happens when they compare only their views their subscribers learning language and getting subscribers and views is totally different thing yeah correct yes okay okay nice. thank you for joining me bye bye thank you so much for giving some opportunity yeah thank you it's my pleasure bye bye ma'am bye bye